Hi, I'm Con Undercuffler, and I'm going to be this year's new lead anchor for Tiger TV. After a two-year-long hiatus, we are finally back, and this year we're planning on broadcasting every other Friday on the school's TVs, plus we're going to have bonus content online. With that said, roll the intro. On Friday, January 22nd, the Northeast was hit with a record-breaking snowstorm. Here's Owen with more. On Friday, January 22nd into Saturday the 23rd, Fleetwood and the rest of the county received record amounts of snow. Some areas reported as much as three feet over a 24-hour period. The weather crippled local roads and some schools were closed for the entire week. But senior Alec Ratzel saw an opportunity to profit from the time off by shoveling driveways nearby. Yeah, we were out shoveling for about 20 hours throughout the weekend and we made about $800. So it was pretty successful. The roads were a concern for many in the area shortly after the snow, but after a few days of plowing, the conditions were safe for traveling. Most of the driving conditions were pretty good. They were a little sloppy in places and narrow, but as long as you're paying attention, they're pretty much fine. The record-breaking amount of snow resulted in two days off of school for Fleetwood students and staff. Students returned after a delayed start on Wednesday. For Tiger TV News, I'm Owen Sandor. Back to you at the news desk. Thank you, Owen. Just before the snowstorm hit, Fleetwood held a pretty interesting pep rally. Here's Hunter with the story. On Friday, January 22nd, Fleetwood Area High School held their annual change of semester pep rally to acknowledge winter sports. With all the grades packed into the gymnasium, this year's rally started off with a little bit of a twist. It featured a showdown between two well-known sci-fi characters. After the duel, the teams were called down and recognized for their efforts throughout this season. To add a little bit of excitement to the rally, games such as Knockout and Musical Chairs were featured. As this year's winter pep rally was coming to an end, one of Tiger TV's own reporters ran into some well-known galactic warriors. All right, so I'm here with Darth Vader and Chewbacca, and they've now formed a new friendship. Can you tell me about that friendship? You don't, you don't say. I, I understand, and how do you feel about that? Very often the dark side is misunderstood. Why do you think they misunderstand you so much? It's the color of my outfit. I understand. Any last words? I'm Adam Monocera, reporter for Tiger TV. Back to you at the news desk. The first walkthroughs of this year's school musical have just begun. On January 19th, the first practice was held on stage from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Well, right now we're in the early stages of blocking, which means we have to figure out who's going to stand where and where they're going to walk during the scenes. The practice times have become more of a flexible arrangement than previous years to make sure as many cast members as possible are available for rehearsals. The chosen cast is using this time to get accustomed to the lines and cues for more in-depth practices that will be taking place later in the year. Later we're going to have all of our lines memorized, things are going to move a lot smoothly, and we're going to focus a little more on the acting part and not just how it's supposed to look. For more information, talk to Miss Hilbert and check back with Tiger TV News. In other news, renovations recently were made to Fleetwood's weight room. Here's Tristan to fill you in. Over winter break, renovations were done to the Fleetwood Area High School weight room. The majority of the renovations were simply rearranging the current equipment to allow for more room to move around. I think it's great that we've got the new weight room equipment here. The new squat rack leaves up a lot of room for when people are coming in after school and want to work out so we can get three squats going at the same time. The new back extension machine is really good because the old one wasn't quite as sturdy as this one. It didn't have as wide a base so people can get on it and they don't have to worry about whether they're going to fall over or not because it really feels more secure. There were a few new running and biking machines added to the mix, along with a new squat rack and back extension rig. They've got some new aerobics equipment down there for people who just want to come down, maybe burn some fat, burn calories, get, get back in shape, get into shape. I am Tristan Spanoff reporting for Tiger TV News. Thank you, Tristan. On Sunday, 
Fleetwood's hockey team played its Cuckoo Valley Hamburg at the Santander Arena. Here's Owen with more on the game. On Sunday, January 31st, the Fleetwood hockey team took on Skuko Valley Hamburg at the Santander Arena. The team came in looking for its elusive first victory in club history. The scoring in the game got started with 4 minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first period when Skuko Valley took an early 1-0 lead. But Fleetwood bounced back when Nick Crazley took the puck and fired a shot to tie the game up early in the second period. Unfortunately for Fleetwood, things started to slip away from there. Skuko Valley came back with three goals of their own in less than five minutes. At the end of the second period, Fleetwood trailed 4-1. to one. We tried to fought, fight back hard, but it was just our defense fell apart and our offense wasn't performing. We, were, we weren't skating hard. They just really they blew us out of that game, I think, in the second period. Schuylkill Valley would add to its lead in the third period to make it 5-1. to one. Tyler Knauer scored a late goal for Fleetwood, but it wouldn't be enough as Fleetwood lost 5-2. to two. I mean, it was definitely a hard loss to handle because they're not one of the better teams in the league, but, I mean, a loss is a loss. You just have to you have, just have to keep moving forward. Fleetwood still has four games left this season to try and finally win its first game. Their next opportunity to do so will be this Monday, February 8th. For Tiger TV News, I'm Owen Sandor. Back to you at the news desk. Thanks for the report, Owen. In other sports news, Fleetwood's basketball team played Conrad Weiser last Friday. Here's Lizzie with more. Thanks, Connor. On Friday, January 29th, the 6 and 12 Fleetwood High School boys basketball team played against the 7 and 9 Conrad Weiser Scouts. The first quarter began with belligerence from both teams. The Scouts made the first shot, but it didn't take long for the Tigers to tie the score. First quarter ended with the Scouts leading 14 to 9. Both Fleetwood and Conrad Weiser continued to play the game with unceasing aggression, making the score 26 to 22 Conrad Weiser going into halftime. The scouts dominated the second half. Fleetwood had a great fan section to help cheer on the Tigers, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to help them win. Conrad Weiser took the win with a final score of 53 to 39. I was able to catch up with Justin Hummel to find out how he thought the game went. I thought the game went pretty well overall, but at the end we lost and there were some crucial moments where we just didn't score and play defense. Game at practice, we were practicing to play more as a team and score in the moments when we needed to score and just play as a team overall. You played an awesome game, Tigers. Good luck throughout the rest of your season. I'm Lizzie Giese, reporting for Tiger TV News. Back to you at the news desk. Thank you, Lizzie. This year, there are four foreign exchange students attending Fleetwood High School. We're going to be doing a report on them during each of the upcoming few shows. Here's our report on Fleetwood's favorite Romanian, Arthur Barodi. Where are you from and what is your native language? I'm from Romania and my native language is Hungarian. Yes, I'm enjoying my time here. I think it's really fun and people are really nice and it's really enjoyable. I like here in America, I like it. Um, I like the food, I like it that it comes always in big portions and it's really tasty and then people are really nice. The school here is a lot easier and a lot more different which I like and then uh, the one thing I like in Romania is that we eat a lot more home-cooked meals and I found those uh, a little bit better. Finally then, there are many different clubs here at Fleetwood High School but recently one of them has suffered a loss of attendance. Here's our report on the Magic the Gathering Club. I don't know what the story with Magic Club is at the moment.
Um, a lot of times sporting events and uh, other obligations of that sort prevent people from diving headfirst into it at the beginning of a new school year. You have a natural advantage, you have four creatures out. Cranko's command, now you two goblins. I'm fucking Cranko. <laughs> I wish I knew what was wrong with Magic Club. It's, uh, it, it's, it's really, it's depressing, it's disappointing. Um, I won't lie to you, there have been nights when I haven't actually slept. It's, 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 it's kind of scaring me. It's, kind of, it, it, it's that, that we're going to be living in a world where this sort of thing doesn't even happen. And um, I, I'm hoping we can bring it back. I'm hoping we can find some really interested students who, who will come in and, and, and just help us to form some, some tournaments, perhaps, get some, some new recruits in there, whatnot. But in the meantime... That's it for this week. All of us here at Tiger TV sincerely hope that you enjoyed this episode, and we thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.